Hi everybody, let's do a quick walkthrough on how to draw with the Word Visual App. So first we create a new drawing and go right directly into the drawing mode. So here you will see that you have like four uh, spots for brushes that you can customize for yourself, right? So I have the first one for lines. I normally, when you click on that brush again, you get the edit menu of the brushes. So on the left side, um, you have all the uh, possible ways to tweak your brushes. It's not too much, so I want to keep it easy. Um, I normally use the first brush for lines. You can transparency and all this kind of stuff. You can, in the middle, you can um, change the color. And on the right side, you can swipe through the colors, right? And then on the bottom left and here, you can switch between eraser or brush. So. That's how you define the thing. Um, if you're using uh, an Apple Pencil, you might want to have the Apple Pencil um, icon that's in the middle uh, in orange, so your palm is rejected quite nicely. So I choose a black one, and I can draw there four lines, right? The last one is an eraser, so I can erase here. So um, what what is quite essentially is as well that you work with the layers. So if you activate the layers, um, you have the choice of having some layers. So on the right upper corner, you have a plus sign to create new layers and left, you can delete them again. So normally I work with three layers. I have the first layers for lines, the second layer for shadows and the third layer for colors, right? The second in the middle of the layer has 24% opacity. That's because I want the, the shadows to be able to display it in PNG files later on. So when I draw shadows, I use a black pen, but with only on a layer with 25%, 24% opacity. So when I start, I normally start in the first layer with the lines, and then I normally don't draw in full, like 100% zoom, that's, that's kind of this here. It's a bit tricky to get the lines right. So um, what I normally do is I, I first do quite some strokes to see how big should my drawing B in the end like this here and then I zoom in like you see like four to five hundred percent sometimes three hundred percent and then I start drawing and switching around moving around with the pen with the panning with the two fingers and I draw the different pieces of my person here so when I finish that I can just switch to the middle layer in the screen here, or I can tap here, tap in the layer of edit, edit menu and go to the middle screen. So I choose my my other brush, that is this one here. You always see it's gray now. And then I draw the shadows. It's always right and up underneath, this kind of thing. So that's ready. So then I switch back to my layer down here, to that one, and choose a color. So for example, an orange. And then I fill my person. Either I draw quite accurately or I go all over the place. That's your choice. But because I have it on a separate layer, it works well, right? So it works both ways. So when I do this here, I have to choose an eraser afterwards so to get rid of the lines here. Sometimes I zoom a bit nearer here. Then I can erase that. See, that's all nice here. Uh, let's see it here, there. Clean it up a bit. Takes a, takes a while, right? But that's something you can't change. So that's it. So there is one thing that I want to show you as well is when you go to the layer palette and you have the color layer here, at the right lower corner, you have that lock. If you activate that lock, you can recolor the color layer by just choosing another color. For example, let me zoom out a bit that you see it and you can push fill, ta-da! other color um, or if you want it back on orange and you want to use your brush you can do that as well and just draw where already pixels are with color so you're very flexible and I'm always zooming in zooming out to check like how are the proportions right so that's how I like to do it when I draw uh, when I write I I actually zoom in as well so um, that I can uh, switching to the right layer here that I can then write in big letters 
quite sufficiently, right? And then it's quite nice at the end. Ta da! So that's for now, basics. Let's see how this works out and if it helps you. I uh, would like to get your feedback how I could improve this short video. And um, I see you soon, right? Bye bye.